Larry Carlin from Best Performance Systems once again, a consulting company that goes into businesses and reduces injuries 50 to 90 percent and improves productivity every single time. 100 percent success for 12 years with a 50 to 90 percent reduction in injuries. Today we have an incredible supervisory skill that works virtually every time. We've been using this with all of our clients for over 10 years in hundreds of, of businesses and it works every time. The supervisor's job becomes easier and the department runs better. Here's the problem. Human nature. When you, the supervisor, need to tell your department, here's a new procedure that we're going to start using. Here's a new way that we're going to start doing something. Here's something new that we're going to be doing. It's human nature for people to push back. Uh, we've always done it this old way. I don't like that new way. Uh, but let's not do that. Uh, no, I, don't, I don't want to do that. They just are resistant to doing something new. Here's a technique that was developed by one of my mentors, Brian Tracy, and it works every time. We call it mental digestion. So here's what you're going to do. You've got an idea. You want to present it to your, to your team. You meet with your team. It might be a pre-shift meeting in the morning. It might be casually over coffee. And what you're going to do this first time is you're going to present the new idea casually. So whatever it is you want to do is say, we're thinking about doing this in the department. We're thinking about doing this way. You know what? You know what? I'd like your opinion. So today's Tuesday. How about if we meet after lunch on Thursday around 1 p.m. And I'd like to hear your ideas on this. What do you think of that? Would you be willing to do that? Well, thank you very much. And you all go to work. Now, what you've just done is several things. One, you've told them the new thing that you wanted to do. You've told them specifically what you'd like to do. And when you told them, you didn't tell them, then, oh, we want to do this. That's great. You told them casually without, without a great deal of attachment to it. So, so they're not going to push back so much because you're so attached to that. They just heard casually what you want to do. Here's what else you did. You asked their opinion. You're showing them respect. So now here it is, you ask for their ideas in a couple of days. So now you meet for their input. When you meet for their input, let's say on Thursday at 1 o'clock as you scheduled, okay, we were going to talk about changing blah, blah, blah here in our department. Let's hear ideas. Some people come up with brilliant ideas. You know what you're going to do? Write them down with respect. Some people will come up with crazy ideas. You would never do that. But you know what you're going to do? Write them down with equal respect. Write down all of their ideas. I'll bet you, because this happens well more than half the time, someone is even going to give you your original idea that you mentioned, and they won't remember that it was your idea. They're going to think they came up with that idea. Write it down with respect. Then you let them know, thank you very much. Those were some great ideas. I really appreciate it. I need to speak to my boss and my peers, and I'll let you know what they decide. But let me, I'll share all of your ideas, and we'll see which one we're going to use. You go off, and then a day or two later, you come back in a meeting with your group. Okay, thank you so much for your input. Those are some brilliant ideas. Here's what we've decided to do. And you lay out what we're going to do. The workers will almost always embrace it. And they will even be contributory to implementing whatever it is. Why? Because you show them respect. You ask their opinion. You empower them. You actually showed respect to their opinion. You gave them some ownership of the department, of their, of, of their job. This combination of respect, empowerment, and ownership will have the workers being very receptive to whatever it is that you want to implement new in the department. This is a great idea, and I hope you use it. And just give it a shot. You're going to be shocked at how, at how uh, it improves the functioning of your department and the interaction and communication between you, the supervisor, and your team. Now, Best Performance has a program that covers a multitude of things that reduce injuries 100% of the time, an average of 50 to 90%, and increase productivity tremendously. We're now offering a free course with all actionable skills. At the end of this video, in the description below the video, is a link. Hit that link and that will take you to the free course. And that course will give you a multitude of ideas like this one and very specific ways that they could be doing their job in hospitality. So you can have people that are happier, that are getting more work done, they feel better, they're having less injuries, they're happier and they're nicer to the guests. So you even improve the guest experience.
Again, I am Barry Carlin, our company's best performance systems. Thank you very much. And don't forget, hit that link in the description below.